Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Mathis. I'm a developer advocate at Timescale. And in today's video, we'll go over the steps on how to get set up with Timescale DB and Grafana so you can follow along with our Grafana visualization tutorial videos. But first and foremost, if you don't know who we are, we are Timescale, the company and people behind Timescale DB, which is a time series database built on top of Postgres, which means that if you already know Postgres, you pretty much already know Timescale DB which is really awesome because that means you can do your time series data analysis using SQL, which is even better because everybody loves SQL. We'll go over how to create a Timescale DB instance on Timescale Cloud, how to log into that, get that set up. Then we'll go over how to import the data set from our documentation. Then we'll go over how to add that database to Grafana using a data source. And then lastly, I'll show you how to create a Grafana variable in the dashboard. Let's get started. To get started, we need access to a Timescale DB instance. One of the easiest ways to do this is to use Timescale Cloud. It's super reliable, highly scalable, and it's free for 30 days, so you really have nothing to lose. After you've logged in to Timescale Cloud, you're going to want to go to the Services tab and then click on Create a Service. Do that here. For now, these default settings are more than plenty, so we're going to click on Create a Service. And once your service has been created, uh, you can see that it gives us a username, service name, and password. This is very important. So we're going to click on store service password now, and it will download a SQL file with our password and username in it. Also, this is very important. We see a PSQL command that we can use to log into our database. So we'll copy that over, and then we can copy and paste this command in, and then it will automatically log us into our database. Then for the data set, we need to go to the timescale documentation. So go to timescale docs, getting started, and then create a hyper table. Uh, there's a whole bunch of information here that I won't go over, but here we have the commands that we need to do. This will create our uh, stocks real time table and our company table. Uh, so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it in here. Uh, then we wanna create a hyper table. And then lastly, an index on that hyper table. And then create the company table like that, cool. So then we need to actually import our data set. So we'll go to the next chapter. Here you can download the real-time stocks data set. So you go down to your downloads folder, uh, so CD downloads, and then do unzip real-time stock data .zip. It will inflate it, cool. And then we can use the PostgreSQL copy command to copy that over. So we need our uh, command here. Go back to here, then do that. And then we're back into our service. Then we're going to copy these commands and this will take a minute uh, because it's quite a lot of data but we're going to copy this in here once that's done you can copy the other command here to copy over the uh, company database or the company table cool and that's it we don't need to do anything else with our database but just to be sure i'm going to query our database so we're going to do select uh, count everything from uh, stocks real time just to make sure that matches up and it does cool so once that's done, you want to go to Grafana, which you have probably self-hosted or using a Docker container to run, or maybe you're on MST. Uh, there's a lot of options here, uh, but you want to go to the, uh, the configuration tab over here uh, and click on data sources. Then we want to add a data source here and scroll all the way down to Postgres. And then we want to fill in all this information neatly. First, we'll go over the name here and we'll call our uh, instance uh, stocks data set. Uh, and we'll make this the default for now. Then in our PostgreSQL connection here, we wanna fill all this in. We can get all this information from the credentials file that we downloaded. So we'll open that up. And then in host, we have this, we'll copy that over. And then we need to add the port here. And the port is 3726. In my case, for you, this will all be different probably. Uh, then our database will be TSDB. Our user is TSDB admin. And our password is this string here. And then for uh, TLS SSL mode, we want to click uh, require. And if we click on save and test, it should tell us that the database connection is okay. So that's one thing out of the way. Then lastly, I want to show you how to add a variable to a Grafana dashboard. So we'll click on create dashboard here, and then we'll go straight into the settings over here and then click on uh, variables over here. 
and then we can click on add a variable and then here we can add a variable so there's a couple types of variables here that you'll see the most common uh, that we'll use are interval uh, text box and query so interval is pretty self-explanatory um, in most of our tutorials we'll use uh, bucket interval um, interval like that um, and this will allow us to select an interval uh, these are pre-made values and these suffice so you can click on update um, and then it will add that. And then lastly, uh, we also need uh, a text box over here for uh, symbol. Uh, and this is pretty much all you need uh, to get started. Um, in many of the videos, um, we uh, change the symbol from text box to query. Um, the query uh, most likely would be the following. So we do select distinct. Uh, which means that um, they're all unique um, symbol from company order by symbol ascending. Uh, this means that um, it will show us all the uh, company symbols in our company table um, ordered by uh, the symbol ascending. So we could technically uh, omit this and then uh, sort here alphabetical ascending and it will give us the same results. And then in pretty much all the videos, you want to select multi-value. This allows you to select multiple of them at once, uh, which is interesting if you want to visualize more than one time series data uh, graph at once. So we'll click update. And then we want to actually create a new uh, panel just to show you that it works. This doesn't really matter as most of the videos actually go in and talk about how to create these panels. But just for the sake of the tutorial, I'll create a panel here. I'll actually copy it over from one of the tutorials. And then as you can see, uh, we have the stocks data set for Apple in the last 30 days. So as you can see, this got you all set up with the Grafana visualization tutorials. If you'd like to see more of this, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to see more awesome content. And I'll see you next time.